In chapter 6, we talk about sequences and series. Recall that a sequence is just a list of numbers with commas in between them. They may or may not have some sort of a pattern to them, but a series is different. This is an example of what a series looks like. There are no commas. Notice that all the commas have been changed to pluses. That's because a series is the total of all the numbers within a sequence. This one in particular is an arithmetic series because it shows arithmetic qualities. You're adding a number each time to get to the next one. Within the bubble, you'll see a formula. That formula is for the sum of all the number of terms within a sequence. Okay, so this is how it's used. Here is a series, and I want the first 40 terms. Now I know it doesn't look like a series because you have minuses in the middle instead. Don't get fooled by that. Notice that the sequence is negative 6, comma, negative 8, comma, negative 10. So it's a decreasing sequence, and it looks like it's adding negative 2 each time. But what's happening is there is an invisible plus here and an invisible plus here. The only thing is this negative 6 is adding a negative 8, and that plus and that negative combine to make a minus. Okay, so that plus and that negative from the negative 10, again, combine to make that minus sign. So it is still a series. The pluses are just invisible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a list of all the given stuff, and then I also want to know what I'm looking for. So what I was given is the first term, which is negative 6, the common difference, which was negative 2, and they told me that they want the sum of the first 40 terms. Now I could really sit there and just use my calculator, take negative 6 plus negative 8 plus negative 10 and keep adding up until 40 terms. But that's going to take too long. So this formula is going to help out quite a bit and we're just going to sub in all our numbers. So when n is 40 and I sub in all of my 40s, I want to make sure I'm not still writing sn. Then we're going to sub in what A is, and we're going to sub in what D is. And we're just going to do bed mass to figure out the answer. So do your brackets first. You could even multiply these guys if you want to, as long as you add this answer afterwards. Okay, and then we're going to find the answer to this and multiply it with the 20 from the 40 over 2. That means that if I add up all these negative numbers, I'm going to get a really big negative number after 40 terms. Okay, so what you want to do at the very end is you want to obviously give me a therefore statement um, that answers the original question. Here's the next type of question. What they've done is they've given you a series but it ends. So there is some sort of an ending to it. It doesn't go on forever. We know our first term which is 5. We know our common difference. It looks like it's going up by 4. And then they want the sum. Now, in order to get the sum, I need to know what n is in order to plug it into the formula. But I can't tell how many terms there are. All I know is that it ends. So I know this is the first term, that's the second term, that's the third term, but this could be, I don't know, the hundredth term. So what I have to do is I first have to find out what n is. This guy, though, is your tn. So I wrote that right here. Well, if I have my tn, my a and my d, I'm going to use the tn formula and that's going to help me find out what n is because I'm going to sub this into my tn, 5 into my a, and 4 into my d, now my only unknown is my n. So I'm going to solve, 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 and it looks like n is 50, which means this guy is the 50th term. Now that I have 50 terms, I'm then going to go down a little bit and I'm going to plug everything into the sum formula. So again, my a is still 5, my d is still 4, but now I at least know what n is. And then you're just going to solve, and it looks like the sum is 5,150, once I add all of those 50 terms up. The last question. If I was given a, and I was given the very last term, so a tn, find the sum of the arithmetic series. Now in this case they have to tell you that it's an arithmetic series or else you wouldn't know what formula to use. So they've given you A, I have that. I don't know what the difference is though. But I know that when N is 12, my TN is 36. So there you go. 
And again, since I don't have my D, I'm going to have to find that using the TN formula first. Then I can probably sub everything into the SN formula. So I'm going to put 36 in as my TN. I have my A is 3. D I don't know, but 12 is my N. So I'm going to solve again all the way through for D, and it looks like the common difference is 3. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sub in everything, and I know that the last term was 12, so there's 12 terms. Okay, so I'm looking for S12, and again, just plugging in all the numbers and solving once again. So the sum of the first 12, or I guess all 12, is 234, and I write a very simple therefore statement.